Let us now give an example of a multi-dimensional Brownian motion. So the fundamental example is the two-factor Hull-White model. So you have, say, stochastic differential equation associated with interest rates, which is some constant theta minus alpha RT plus U of T DT. So this is your drift. And then sigma 1 DW1 T, this is your diffusion. But here this factor U of T, this is stochastic. So this is a stochastic differential equation itself. So this evolves according to a stochastic differential equation. DU of T is equal to minus P UT DT plus sigma 2 DW 2 comma T. So you have a Brownian motion here, a Brownian motion here. This is the diffusion of this equation and minus p u t is the drift here. So this is a multi-dimensional Brownian motion. So you have a stochastic differential equation which enters into another stochastic differential equation. So you have to solve for u t from here and then plug this u t in here uh, to simulate say interest rate r t. So we are going to rewrite this as d r t d u t this parameter I'm just going to copy as such theta minus alpha RT plus UT and then uh, minus BUT is right here times GT. So this is for a multi-dimensional Brownian motion. This part is the drift and the second part is the diffusion. And this is our random variables taken from normal 0 t. Now a word about theta and alpha. So theta and alpha we are taking as constant. So we are taking three constants here. Theta, alpha and b. Three constants in the drift and two constants in the diffusion. Sigma 1 and sigma 2. Now I'm taking these three as constants uh, for the ease but you do not have to take them as constants. These could be function of time. So instead of theta, you could have just t, where t is time. And then instead of alpha, you could have square root of t or t plus 1. Instead of b, you could have some function of t. So which could be t q plus something, 3 or something, whatever you want. So I'm just taking them as constants for ease. but you can do these changes and then you can uh, type them in here. So instead of theta, you could just write T here. So let us see the R code. So you require the UIMA package. We are going to solve for R and U. So we are going to solve for R and U. So our drift is this equation, theta minus alpha RT plus UT. And the second row is minus PUT. And that is what we have. Theta minus alpha times R plus U. That is this term comes right here and then minus b times u comes here. Then we have this 2 by 2 matrix. So first you produce a list, sigma 1, 0, 0, sigma 2. So diffusion is your matrix. This 2 by 2 matrix is right here. And then you set model, drift as drift. This is our drift. Diffusion as this, this uh, matrix. And then you solve for variables, solution. Solution is r and u. We are going to initialize the values for R and U as 0.1 and 0.2. Then I'm going to simulate the model. So we are giving theta as 1, alpha as 1, b as 1, sigma 1 as, as 2, and sigma 2 as 2. So in case you decide to put theta as t, so you put t right here. So say you want to put theta as t or t square, you put t right here. Then you do not give any value here. So you skip the value here if you put theta as say a function of time and then we are going to plot it and we will plot it to get two values and two graphs actually uh, one for r and other for u so the r is initialized at point one and the second equation is u see you can see r and u second is initialized at point two so let us see this in r so you can copy this from the uh, description of the video we're going to select this and hit the run button. So we will get 
two graphs so you see you get a graph for r and a graph for u and uh, according to our equation now i'm going to change theta so theta is no longer a constant i take it as a function of time so theta is just t so you could have taken as t plus 1 t square plus 1 or a square root of t or anything i've just taken t so theta is now a function of time so if you put theta as t here then you have to remove theta from here so notice that from the parameter list i have removed theta out so now you can again plot this and uh, now we get simulated graphs like this so this is the simulation again you have simulation for r and simulation for u so we have explained how to simulate interest rates using two factor model